Ladies and gentlemen, kind of thought we'd be here. It's like poker. What you are witnessing here is just the tip of the iceberg of back channel deals behind the scenes of the chairman of this council subverting the will of the council and the will of the citizens of Beaufort County. When you elect your council representative, you're electing a person to represent you on properly administering the county budget, promote decisions which only benefit public interest. We are to actively promote public confidence in the county government, keep all funds and other properties of the county safe, maintain a positive image to pass constant public scrutiny, evaluate all decisions so the best service or product is obtained at a minimal cost without sacrificing quality, fiscal responsibility, all of these, just to name a few of the only responsibilities of the elected official. What you are witnessing, however, is the chairman of this council, again, continuing to subvert these, these laws and ordinances to create, apparently, his own fiefdom. As a council, we only have one employee, and that's the county administrator. Our county administrator and deputy administrator, or plural, have the job of the day-to-day -day operations of this county, not this council, and especially not the chairman of any council. To that point, in our ethical principles of the council, which I believe are found on the insert pa inside page of the cover, it says the ethical Beaufort County official should not engage in outside interests that are not compatible with the impartial and objective performance of his or her duties should not improperly influence or attempt to influence other officials to act in his or her own benefit and should not accept anything of value from any source which is offered to influence his or her own action as a public official. Throughout the last year or so, there have been numerous articles, maybe we've all read them, in local, regional, as well as national newspapers and social media, newspapers of the state of affairs with the current chairman. Ever since our current administrator has been here, I have had countless anonymous letters, anonymous phone calls of employees of the county, vendors to the county, and even other bodies politic. Of the harassment of our chairman to the administrator, the harassment of county employees by the chairman, the strong arm overtakings of meetings and agenda, all to best fit some Machiavellian plan. This can not continue. We as a council cannot continue to allow the chairman or any fellow council members to subvert themselves into running this county by authoritarian means. We are a county of laws and we are charged to act like it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. We now have an update from Craig Wynn.